What's going on guys? It's your boy Joe here. I'm out here driving, going to the gym. It's my day off. It's Tuesday, uh, January, what, 6th? Yeah, 6th. January 6th today. Man, already, already. Oh no, it's, no, it's not Tuesday. Tuesday was yesterday, sorry. It's, uh, um, 7th, sorry. Man. Time is flying. We're already in the seventh day of the year. The new year, the new me, baby. Um, I'm just trying to stay up on this blogging every day. Yesterday was just like a huge bombshell going off. I wish I would have filmed. Um, since I'm just starting this off, it's kind of slower. I don't want to just like throw it up in people's faces. Um, my, my mentor and my boss... All right, my sales, my closing manager, all right, my sales manager, he closes all the freaking deals. Like, he's the man, okay? That dude quit yesterday. And so that, like, threw a wrench in my whole system. You know, like, shocked me. And I was like, holy freaking crap, dude. Like, he quit. He's gone. He's never coming back. And it's just like, dude, you got to get your shit together, Joey. Like, you got to. You can't just rely on someone else to make your paycheck for you anyways. Which, I'll do a lot of the closing myself. But, man, it's it's going to be tough at our dealership now without him. That was our one sales manager. So, it's just probably a freaking chaos nightmare there today. Um, luckily, I'm off. I'll be there tomorrow. Um, yeah, man, it's going to be freaking wild. I'm just... I don't know what to even say about that. Luckily, luckily, um, <clears throat> he's left me a little, little playbook. He called me at like, man, 11 something. And he's like, hey man, I'm sorry. I just can't work there anymore. I just wanted to let you know. He didn't even call any of the other salespeople, just me. Well, he talked to the general manager and then the general sales manager. And, um, called me, he said, I'm only going to call you, buddy, um, you're the only one who gives a shit, actually puts in the effort, and stuff like that, and man, I've been in this game for about two months now, okay, and I got the most cars out, <clears throat> actually, this, this, um, uh, January, uh, I have, uh, three cars out right now, so that's what's, what's going on with me, so it's not, not a whole lot going on, <clears throat> but, man, that was just catastrophic to me. And he's just like, man, I don't want you to feel bad, ask for pity on yourself or anything like that. He said, you keep doing what you're going to do, and you'll make $100,000 this year or more. He said, keep doing what you're doing, getting better every single day, every freaking time someone tells you no or a person walks out or you let someone leave or some shit. I want you to sit down and write down what happened, okay? And then you can go back and review it, okay? And it's, man, that's that was just pat. Like, man, me and him used to just role play what happened and stuff. And I would, man, that dude, Keith, I talked about him in my vlog. Man, Keith is the man, dude. He's the freaking man. I'm going to miss him. I, I'm still going to keep in touch with him, of course. He lives up in uh, Plum, like uh, more towards Pittsburgh. It's like north northeast from where I am. I'm like that uh, uh, southwest Pennsylvania I mean, Union town. Uh, so it's south of Pittsburgh. But man, freaking Keith is gone. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I do. I'm going to keep doing the same damn thing. Keep it going, baby. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to jump on here and be like, man, you get wrenches thrown up in your system. Just don't freak out. Like, literally, our only sales manager just freaking quit. Well, we have a general sales manager. But he really doesn't come out on the floor that often. But, dude, he, our, like, our closer, like, our closer guy just freaking quit. It's like, damn, dude, what do we do? And I'm just like, man, I'm cool as a cucumber, though. Because he said that, I'm like, man, that really, that really helped me out. So I just wanted to jump on here and just tell everyone, like, man, just because you get a little adversity or a little wrench thrown up into the system or the gears of the, the, the machine, keep it going, baby. Just keep it going. Keep positive. Keep smiling. I'm going to go get me a good workout in. I just seen a... 
I always see so many funny cars. I just seen an S10 with those big ass Chevrolet tow views on it. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I had to say something about that. What the heck? You never like God. I ride in a um, 1500 regular cab, long bed, it's 2004. Um, it's that burgundy color. I love this thing. I put a touchscreen radio up inside of this Joker. I mean, I, I love this truck. I love my truck. It's awesome. It's awesome. It doesn't have a whole lot of features, but it's everything that I wanted. Every single thing. So, um, yeah, guys, I will uh, see you guys a little bit later. I'll be adding to this. I just wanted to just talk a little bit with you guys so i'll see you y'all stay blessed let's get it what's going on guys it's your boy joe here how you doing how you feeling i just wanted to um slowly say um slowly say no i just wanted to come out and say how's it going i just got back from the gym feeling big trained um some a little bit of chest um but mostly arms today that's what i that's what i did but yeah, I just want to just hop on here, say hello to everyone. Um, just, yeah, I just am so hype about how life is going right now. It's going fantastic. I've sold uh, 36 cars um, in the past two months in Uniontown, Pennsylvania. So that's actually really good. I've been in the business now for um, two months. I'm here at a TriStar Chevrolet in Uniontown. Um, I worked for a Nissan store before this. It was like a high volume Nissan store, which is completely opposite of what I'm doing now. <laughs> like it for real guys is completely opposite. Um, <laughs> I keep running into the problem of, man, um, I don't know what to really do on my downtime because we have probably four out of the, four hours out of the day that we don't do jack. So I'm just cold calling calling up service customers that have appointments coming in, seeing if they want to, you know, trade in their vehicle and stuff like that. And that's basically how I'm selling all my cars is by doing that. Um, there's not a whole lot of people just walking in the door saying, hey, I'm ready to buy a car today. Like, <laughs> there's maybe one a week that does that. <laughs> and there's five salespeople. Um, my, like I told you here probably, I don't know, four minutes ago, my sales manager quit. And so I'm like, oh my God. But it, I'm happy for him. He's been in the business for 32 years, 34 years, something like that. Maybe even a little bit longer, but man, Keith was such a good guy. So blessed to have met him. He showed me a lot, um, moving shoes around on the ground. Um, but yeah, he is fantastic. I'm just so blessed to have people like that that have taught me so much. But, you know... You can't just um, rely on everyone else to help you out. I've got some stuff here. I'll go over, like, I'm sure you guys all know what a four square is and different stuff like that. But just different things, like objections, your basic objections. You know, I want to think about it. I need to talk to my wife. Um, you know, um, I'm not too sure I want to pull the trigger on this right now, which is, you know, another think about it. Really, it's just those two are the ones. Like, my wife's not here, or, you know, I got to think about it. And it basically all comes back to I got to think about it, where you didn't go over exactly what the problem was. Like, okay, so you're saying you, you want to think about it, right? You don't, you came in here, you know, you, you stayed here for two hours out of your day, your week, your month, whatever it is. You know, you researched online a whole bunch. You came in, you finally drove this car, and now you're telling me you don't want it? And they're like, yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> so what that is, they're hiding something. Like, you didn't go over something or something about it. They're just not sure. They're not ready to take that emotional plunge. Customers, they're not, I don't want to call them stupid, but they're like, they want you to just give them that push to sell them. Okay, that's the whole point of being a salesperson is you're able to do that. But at the same time, you don't want to put them in something that they don't want. That's that's not that's not what you want to do. Okay. You want them to say, here, I got something here. Real simple. Remember, okay, you got one old spice, and then you got the other old spice. This one is the swagger. This is the nice new one. Then this is just your, your base model one. All right. They came in on this one over here. You know, it's all shiny, nice, new, everything. You know, 
and then they end up, you know, failing credit or something like that, or they can't get but such a loan for this, but they could get this, or, you know, something, something, something's up, something's just up, you know, and you just have to convince them to, to leave with this, and it's like, well, it's basically the same thing, just not all the bells and whistles and stuff like that, so something like that, you know, you might need to do a little bit more selling on, but man, for the most part, it it's something you said you did, you know, and you need to clarify that with them. You need to be like, look, I always tell people, I'm like, look, like, what did I do? Pump the brakes. I think we're talking about something completely crazy. Um, I thought you were ready to buy the car. That's why I always do what's called a scale check. So as soon as we get out of the test drive, you know, they're just like, okay. So scale one to 10, one being, you know, you wouldn't even take this car if it was free and 10 being ready to Joey shut up stop talking ready to go sign papers and get the heck out of here with my brand new car right you know they're super happy <laughs> so that's that's what that is and you need to I guess just just figure out the particular way because each customer is the same but they're slightly different you know you'll get some people that are one way they want to they want to be pushed completely into it one person has to argue about every little thing on the way um, I ran into a lady that was like that. She was like, well, is this that right blue? We, I had to go online, okay, and show her the word. It was, it was, um, I, no, no, it wasn't blue, it was gray. It was nightfall gray. I had to go online and show her, print out a piece of paper that said nightfall gray. And then I had to go onto the car, onto the sticker and show her nightfall gray. So she knew that was the same freaking color that we had talked about over the phone, Okay. That was her only real objection over everything, but she like nitpick, 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 and then finally I'm like, look, this is what it is. This is everything you wanted. This is the perfect car. This is what it costs. Do you want it? And she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's do it. And she signed right away. I'm like, God. But it, she she just had to treat each customer, you know, with respect. You know, you have to value their time. And you want to not go slow. And that's what sucks about being so new is I don't have everything just down so perfectly pat. I'm working on that. Like, I've got stuff down pat. Like, I know the whole process, but I'm not like boom, 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 boom. Like, done. Like, a pro, pro. Like, that's like years in getting there. I'm only two months in. And, I mean, I'm boom, 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 boom. But sometimes I'm boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> like, then, the, you know, that little slowdown will just make customers go, ah, ah I, don't, I don't know. Let me hear, call here. You guys just send me those numbers and I'll get back to you. You know, they get antsy, especially if you're waiting on a bank or something like that. Man, I can't stand that. <laughs> We'd be getting some numbers and people would be like, yeah, I think, um, I think, yeah, it's just taking a little while. You know what? Hey, go ahead and uh, call me and, and let me know what the bank says and I'll be back later on. You know, that, that be back, like that's, <laughs> those are, no, those are squirrely people. They're going to the next dealership to go see if they can get it done right then. <laughs> so that's what it is. And um, here's a secret for everyone. You can get the same freaking um, deal at any Chevrolet dealership. It just matters on what that Chevrolet dealership will do for you. You know, of course, they make a certain amount of money, okay, each one. But if you go to go look at a brand new car, okay, and it's a 2020, you know, Silverado, okay, and they got it online for 42000 40000 something like that, okay, and then they're showing a discount of $10,000 right there. You can go get that same freaking truck right down the road 20 miles at the next Chevrolet dealership. And, you know, the same everything. It's just does that dealership offer more benefits? Does it offer that one? Um, that's why I have that ultimate advantage benefits, which is the, the, my last video you should go watch. Um, it goes over what sets us apart from some of our other people. Like we have a C. Harper and Solomons and some other companies like that that are around us. Um, like Blue Knob, just just different companies that, that have all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's super, super simple. But at the same time, it's if you mess up just a little bit, boom, everything's done. So it's, you just got to figure out what works, like how you can build that, you know, puzzle or f solve that Rubik's Cube to um, get them through the sale. And most people, um, oh, I got, here's a, a Keith statement. It's, um... He said, so there's a great Bible saying that says, um, like Moses 
or someone, I think it was Moses, killed like um, 3,000 Ephesians with the jawbone of a jackass. Okay? A jawbone of an ass, right? And salespeople every day do the same thing with deals. <laughs> it's like you killed 3,000 deals a day with the jawbone of an ass. <laughs> so it's just a stupid little thing he said. I don't know. I thought that shit was funny. <laughs> I was like, damn, dude. <laughs> He'll say little subtle things like that. And so, man, we have such a collective group of freaking people I work with. I mean, I work with this one black dude, Marlo, and we joke about him that he comes in on. So we open up at nine o'clock. He on the freaking dot is late every day by four or five minutes. Four or five minutes. 9.04, he's walking to the door. And he parks right in front of the freaking doors. Walks into our sales meeting. In the middle of the sales meeting. At at nine, you know, 9.05, he's doing the same thing. And this is every freaking day. And he comes in with an excuse. Like, oh man, it was trash day. Like, every Monday, it's freaking trash day. So he's late on that. I'm like, dude, I put my trash out at night like a normal person. Like, you're an idiot. <laughs> or he's like, oh man, just didn't want to get out of bed. Something like that. It's like... Man, like, you just got no respect, do you? <laughs> he's just, I don't know. He's something different. Then we got a guy, Mark Lucator, who's pretty, he's like, uh, man, if you envision someone who grew up, who's like an 80s car salesman, that's what this guy is. Like, he is, you know, that, what do you want to call him? Like, he's the coffee drinking. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Like, he's a nice guy, but it's just, like, like, it's just the, like, you, like, this guy has to have grease in his pockets or something, <laughs> like, like you, you just look at him as, like, a greasy car salesman, and then, um, I got this lady, Rhonda Hatfield, man, she is, <laughs> she, I think she's just scared of everything in the entire world, like, she's just freaking out over every little thing, she's, like, walks around, like, yeah. Yay. Um, I don't know if they're gonna buy it today or not. I'm like, Jesus. Um <laughs> Then we got this other guy, Jimmy. Some days I swear to god he's gonna just croak one of these days in the dealership. He's so like old and decrepit and he smokes weed all the time. <laughs> Him and this guy Tim Kalachek. Tim's youngish. I think he might be forty something. Might upper thirty, forty, something like that. I don't know. He's pretty cool. Um he smokes weed. Man, a lot of these guys do drugs, and I don't know how the hell they're doing it. Smoking weed. Like, of all drugs you're going to do to be a car salesman, you're going to smoke weed. Like, that's the one that makes you dumb. Not the cocaine to make you, ha, ah, but the one to make you, hey, man, how's it going, man? <laughs> but, yeah. Anyways, um, I guess I got not a whole lot to say. I'm up here from Richmond, Virginia, selling cars in Uniontown, Pennsylvania. <laughs> But no, I love it. I love it. And I got a dude named Bill Heath, who's my general sales manager. See, I don't know what's going to happen now, because I didn't go into work today, um, because it's my day off. And I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. Our our sales manager quit. Our general sales manager is only there by himself. And it's just like, well, there's that. <laughs> but anywho, guys, I'm going to jump off here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy your day. Be blessed. Enjoy life. Sell cars, all right? Sell freaking cars.